What's up, everybody? I'm just giving you an update on the gun range. Gotta make sure I'm in park, but we are here. We've got uh, sidewalks going down. We have frames coming up. We do got. We have some parking that's done now, which that's not all of it. Um, the frames going up right now. We had all our plates in. Um, got our big telehandler here. We are letting them, if you're wanting your your floor, just if you cover it up, like if we were gonna do a clear epoxy, we wouldn't let them drive on here, but we're gonna go ahead and do a colored epoxy, which will cover all that up. And then we've got our big old beams right here. And one thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm building my neighbor a brand new fence all the way down because he's been really helpful to me. So um, that's the plan. You can see over there, we've got all of our center block that'll be going inside of this for the gun range which my frame guys wanted to put the frame up before they did the gun range center block so just left the gun range uh, where i just showed you where the framers wanted to put the center block up or sorry they wanted to put the frame up before they got to the center block so tomorrow they're going to be starting to put that frame up and getting the purlings in which i'll take pictures of and show you the differences um, we used a metal frame I just had a friend in here from utah and it's funny because I call everything a barn and she said if it's not wood then it's uh then it's a shop if it's made out of metal so i guess we're building a shop uh, but around here most things are made with metal frames and then you have your sheet metal on the outside and that allowed us to i don't know that it's any cheaper on what we did but it was much more efficient with my time and me contracting it and finding a crew to put it up so we did the metal on the outside and there'll be center block walls on the inside for the gun range so that process with the center block is supposed to take a long time so we're gonna maybe time lapse it or something for all you all you viewers and i'll explain how it's going to stop the bullets and and go from there and then i'm going to go through my gun my archery range and explain how we stop the arrows which is super simple it's nothing like the gun range and if you have any questions comment below please make sure you subscribe up there because it helps us out in our archery range and for the gun range as we start to post gun videos and all the other good things that go along with having a gun range and um, we'll have a video room in there if you have contract contracting questions ask uh, this is my first no nah, not my first experience this is my first big job contracting and it's been so far there's been a few hiccups um concrete guys possibly having some questions not putting something as level as i wanted to and, and, and my philosophy there is you're going to rip it out and we're going to do it right um, or we don't hand checks over so it sounds like that's a mean and emotional thing but you can't get emotional about the money you have tied into these projects the money you have in these projects are part of a business it's not part of oh i like you so i'm gonna let you get away with not doing the job correctly they are being paid to do the job correctly to meet certain specifications and your expectation. So mine are laid out in our plans, which I do need to do another video showing you my plans. Um, we use Studio 44 in Lubbock, Texas, um, Deborah Pittman, and then her dad's an engineer. I will lay out these plans and show you how they detailed everything in them. Um, everything from the brand of lights to the type of cords uh, or electrical lines that are going in were all specified and that saves you time and headache because when you go through you check everything they put in and make sure it meets what your contract says is that a pain yes is it more efficient for you yes does it save you money yes but it also takes some of your headache away in my opinion of when you when they bid to the plans it's beneficial for you because you, they have to meet what they said that they signed your contract for in the plans. But then again, if your plans are wrong, it was bid to the plan. So you may have change orders that come in along with that. And when that happens, I usually work out a deal. Like, listen, I know this is messed up. I know that it's not your fault. So it's gonna take your time. I'm not gonna expect someone to work for free, but we're gonna come up with a decent amount of money that serves them well and is fair to me. And that's how we do that side of working with our individuals that are putting the barn up or doing our concrete. Um, and also don't be afraid to ask out, uh, sorry, ask out, ask for help. I've asked for help along the way of this process. I got a guy, a buddy, Frankie, he's helping me. He's really set me up with some guys to help because he used to contract all the time. And so don't be afraid to do that. Our plumbers are amazing and they have been beneficial as well. So that's all on that part. Make sure you subscribe again, that you like the video, and you have a great day.